हाउ टू क्रिएट विंडोज वेब सर्वर हाउ टू क्रिएट विंडोज वेब सर्वर यू नो राइट हाउ टू मेक लाइन एक्स एज ए वेब सर्वर correct every one of you know that first we install a package we created a file and we start service so that your instance will become a web server linux instance but how to make windows as a web server this is also dead easy guys it's really easy let me show you so before you do this practice you don't forget to terminate this existing instance because one windows instance takes 30 gb and free drive is up to 30 gb if you launch one more windows instance here It is consuming eight GB. Windows instance consuming thirty. Thirty plus say thirty eight. So means you are going out of free time. That's it. First you terminate this one, then you launch Windows instance for practice purpose. Okay. Yeah. Let me launch one Windows instance. Launch instance. Select any Windows instance. I would like to go with uh, yeah Microsoft Windows Server two thousand nineteen. Select. Then T two Micro is enough. More than enough. Uh, number of instances one and here you can see thirty GB minimum they give. Okay, next you give any name Windows Web Server. Okay, Windows Web Server. Next, see if you want to make Linux as a web server, you have to open SSH and HTTP. Correct. But if you want to open Windows as a web server, you have to open a port called RDP Remote Desktop Protocol and HTTP port. Okay. To access Win Linux SSH, to access Windows RDP. After, apart from that, if you want to access, you know, website, then those requests, you know, they go through this particular port, right? HTTP. So that's why here RDP and HTTP. Let me create a new security group, Windows security group. Spring Street V W A. That's okay. Whatever name you want, you can use. RDP is already there, and select HTTP also. Done. Then review and launch. Launch. Uh, I can make it of existing API. See, what is our existing API? Twenty seven web. Let me take one. That pem. I am going to convert into password. Simple. Launch instance. And view instances. Okay. So I am going to convert this pem into password. Let's wait. Guys, you remember right that how to create Windows, how to launch Windows instance, how to create password and all. You know right? Already we discussed. I think it was our first practical session, right? You remember this one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. PM two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Already we have seen this one. Okay. Now we just we need to wait. See if you just click here, connect. Select that instance. Click on connect. RDP client. Yeah. See, if you have to download this remote desktop file, in which by default you'll get DNS name and username. Both will be there inside that file. You need to convert PEM to password. So click here, get password. When you click that one, it will ask you to wait for four minutes. Yeah, we have to wait. Then only after that only you can uh, convert PEM into password. Okay. So let's wait for four minutes. Now try once. Connect. RDP client. Get. See first download this remote desktop file. Done. Now get password. Yeah. Here browse. For which one? That file. Pam file. You can see twenty seven web. Open. Yeah, now decrypt password. That's it. So my password is ready. Just copy that. And now this run this remote desktop file. Done. Connect. And in in this file already DNS name, username both are there. Just you have to paste password. Okay. Yeah, they are talking about some certificates. Asking about that one. Just click here. Yes. Oh, so right now where are we now? We are inside Windows Web Server. 
Okay. Now I need to make these windows. I'm sorry, we are inside Windows Server. I need to make this one as a web server. You remember, right? In Linux, what are the things that we followed? What are the steps? First, we installed HTTPD package. Then we created file, we kept some content. Then we started service. In Windows also, we are going to do something similar. Instead of HTTPD, we are going to use IIS, this package, IIS. Internet installation, some service, there's some name is there, but don't worry about the name. We are going to install IIS. That P is there already. We are going to, we are not going to download. We are already, that package will be there in Windows. Okay, just we are going to install it. Okay, so after that, we are going to create one file and we are going to put some content. And you don't even need to start service because that service will be started automatically. That's a feature in Windows. That's it. So first install this package and create the file and put some content. That's it. You need not to start service. So for that, uh, go to server manager here. Let me show you. Here, go to search for search. Here you type server. Here you can see server manager. Select that. All this training for Windows Center. Okay. So once it is after that, here go to roles, add roles and features. Click here. Okay, it is asking to wait for a couple of minutes, right? Okay, let's let's wait because it is collecting some data and it is getting ready. Let's wait for a couple of minutes. Now click here, add roles and features. Not ready, seems, yeah, it is ready. Okay, now here, yeah, we need to fill all these stages. Left side, you can see. Here, don't do anything, just click here next. Then here, role-based feature or feature-based installation, same. Just keep all options, same default, no changes, nothing. Okay. Then, then here also, just click next. Then here, oh yeah, uh, somewhere you will find web server IIS. Yeah, you can see these one, web server IIS, web server IIS, select this one. These are package, as and when you select, it shows this option, just click here, add features. That's it. So you select it. Now, next. My mouse is not working. Connection has been attempting to. Oh guys, am I audible? Can you able to hear me? Guys, am I audible now? Am I audible now? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. Oh, sorry, sorry, there was a network issue. Uh, yeah, now, now click here, next. That's it, next. Next. That's it. Just click here. Next. One more. Next. Then install. That's it. We are going to install that IAS package.
in a lot of time. Yeah, that's it. Installation is over. You can see installation succeeded. Now click here, close. That's it, over. Now what we need to do, now you can just close this one, entire section, this one. Now here, go to File Explorer. Inside, you can see this PC, go inside C drive. Here you can see, after installing that IS package, you'll get one folder called INET pub, INET pub. Go inside. Inside you'll get triple W root. Triple W root. This folder is like HTML folder. In Linux, we have seen it. Where triple W HTML? Where triple W HTML folder we have seen it? This is kind of HTML folder. So inside whatever file you put, you know, inside you put some content that you can see in browsers. Simple. Uh, it is showing some default uh, files. Okay, default files. You can, if you want, you can delete them. Okay, let me put my own file. So here, right click new, uh, create a new file here. Okay, uh, I, I'm going to give file name as index. Okay. Now here, I would like to put some content. Uh, welcome to Windows web server. Just I'm doing content. Welcome to Windows web server. What you do, save it as uh, any file. Notepad file also work. Uh, now just let me save as. So you're in the same location. Select all files. I would like to save as HTML file index dot. So that it would be saved as a HTML file. That's it. Close it. Here you can see. Now you delete this notepad. We don't need it anymore. So index HTML file. That's it. Over and out. What you do here? Now you take your uh, instance uh, public IP. Public IP and paste over here. You should be able to see Windows web content. Yes, you can see what is this? Windows web server. Okay. So this is how actually it works. Same thing. You have no difference. Whatever we have seen in lags, right? The same thing. Only difference is there we use HTTPD package. Here we are going to use IIS. Okay, remain these are pretty same. Here, in fact, we don't even need to start service also because service runs by default. Whatever content you put inside this particular file, the file which I've shown you, right? Triple W I, I net pub. Okay, whatever content you put that you can able to see in a browser. You can see I net pub, triple W root inside data. Got it? So that is how we create Windows web server. Okay. Yeah. Understood, guys, everyone?